What's up? What's up? Yes, glasses. Hello, Scott. Hello, everyone. I don't know why I just shouted out Scott. Thank you, the Luke. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And turn myself up a little bit. There we go. How's everyone doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The moon does reflect off the shores of forgiveness. We are on Mystery Mountain. How's everyone doing? I... Thanks, Jenna. I'm not getting notification sounds. Hmm. So if I miss anyone, I apologize. What's up, Bob? I do have a... I do have a... I have a, a piano here. Maybe I'll make some loops later. Maybe. Um, what's up? How's everyone's uh how's everyone's uh new year going? Taylor, I'm you'll be the first person to get them if if that interests you at all. 
Can I get a, a, a New Year's update on everyone on a scale of 1 to 10? Ooh, Shamla says her New Year's Eve was awful. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Rachel's at a 9 out of 10. Wow, Jenna's at a 10 out of 10. So is the gosser. Danny's at a one because Frank is coming back. Oh, an 11. I understand. I understand. Joystick's mom got COVID and they got mad at their brother. Hmm. Oh, no. Jaden's getting divorced. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Is that a... Ooh, Jaden. I, I... Hmm. I want to hear... I kind of want to hear more about... About the divorce, no offense. We might have some time for open forum today. Razor blade wrist made out with their crush and fiance. It's cool. If you have anonymous hype trains going, woo! If uh, if you have a uh, if you have anything you want to say, we might have time for the uh, for the open forum. We also have a Discord. I'll tell you what, normally I do these Mystery Mountains, and it's Neveth. Normally I do these Mystery Mountains because I have nothing to talk about, but here I have a lot to talk about, or like a lot of stuff to do. So I think it's it's going to be good. Um, how about this? How about this? Why don't I make a loop really quick? We'll start that way so I'm not like running up against the clock. And uh and then after that we'll we'll go into some stuff. I I kind of want to dive into the new uh web store, which is very much a work in pro progress, largely uh unfinished. I would say it's about thirty percent finished. But we can we can look at it. I'm making changes in 2023. I also have some beats we can listen to. I won't say who they're from. I don't think there's tags on them. Let's see if I can bump this up a little bit. Let me make a one, two, three, four, one forty. Let's do that. How's this? There we go. Um, let's start with some piano. <laughs> They're not from Smoke a Sack. Try that. There's, there's, all right, we'll start with that. Taylor, like normally when I, uh, well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I like to play. If it's like, if I'm playing for a while, if I'm doing like a long take, um, then I'll, then I'll, I'll go back and edit the MIDI after. But if I'm just like recording a loop, I try and make it as normal as possible because I like getting the velocity and like the, you know, the feel of a full take. You know, what metronome sound is that? I don't know. Oh, here, I'll pull up my, let's see. 
Do I have Ableton Visual? Oh, fuck, you're not gonna be able to see that. How about no? Where's my Where's my guy? There we go. Okay, this is just a random. Uh, whatever the default Ableton one is, Ableton Click. What does this one sound like? Awful. What does wood sound like? Nope. No, nah, that's one like. Okay. You know, something I always wonder is like, Taylor, if I'm going to send you this loop, do I tell you like what the bass notes are? Or do you just figure that out? You probably just play whatever sounds good, right? Hmm. says I don't mind if you tell me thank you let's we'll do like a four four track loop here let's get way more reverb on that Ventura, we're gonna keep going here. And I'll what I'll do is I'll keep the first one the same, and then for the second time around, I'll just add some stuff. to do it with a click I'm sorry but I won't abide by it too much see that I have to redo Something like that. I'm going to redo it one more time.
。Someone is out. Sorry. Worse than all the others. One more. Something like that. Now I'll fix it a little bit. Let's just, just listen. This one is weird. Just find like a random sound, something smooth. What's up, Marcus? Sounds good to me. This is a nice one, Ableton stock sound. <clears throat> I love this. Listen to that. This is a real soft hit. This is a loud one. Wow, I love this.
That'll be a quiet one. I'm gonna quantize this though. change one track and then I think we're good now we're in witch house world This texture, very nice. I'm just gonna keep holding this. I just want to take some of the, some of the uh, weird frequency out of this. Where is it though? the wrong 
in there? Yeah, I did. I had an uh. sound together. Sunny Digital uh, drums. <clears throat> I'll just make a, a quick loop. pretzels. Not that snare though.
clean that up. So if you see the snares like kind of crazy, and just for variety sake, I'll add instead of just like one note, I'll try and hit like two, like these two at the same time, or like a lower one. You know, like that. I don't love that snare though. I'm sorry. I'm being a little picky for something that won't make it to tape, but. Taylor Morgan added permitted term. Something like that. We'll see. I love how it, this little roll here. Thank you. 
this guy maybe quantize these sometimes I won't
This is this is really Taylor's job. chat sorry oh hey sorry to hear that bunny i am this could be good i'll just leave this in for reference but don't thing well normally i'll keep playing with this but for the sake of time i'll add like a snare roll so it'll just be a track where the snare is going crazy from the beginning and then I'll get into other stuff all right how do I 
save this, save it here, stream beat 140, okay. chat uh oh oh no maybe if i refresh it well i see it but it's not showing up for you hmm hmm oh there there it is. Okay, cool. All right. All right. All right. Um I made a uh, chicken thighs with sticky rice for dinner. It was good. I love a one pot dish. <laughs> um Wrestle Kingdom is tomorrow. New Japan's uh, big yearly pay-per-view. It happens every year on January 4th. Here are my predictions. Ready? I'll start from the bottom. Ryohei Oiwa versus Oleg Bolton. Well, that's just a two rookies. I'm not too worried about that. Roy, uh, New Japan Rambo, which is like a Royal Rumble... The final four people challenging for the King of Pro Wrestling 2023 championship the next night. Uh, I'll go with final four being Taichi. Uh, Taichi. Kenta. Lance Archer and Chase Owens. Who cares? Um, Antonio Inoki Memorial Six Man Tag Team Match: Nagata, Kojima, and Makabe. Wait a minute, is this tomorrow? I don't even know about this match. Nagata, Kojima, and Makabe against Fujinami, Suzuki, and Tiger Mask. Uh, Nagata, Kojima, and Makabe are winning that. All right, and then the meat of the card. What's up, Johnny? TJP and Francesco Francesco Akira against Leo Rush and Yo for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Uh, TJP and Akira are the champions. Uh, I think they win it. I think they retain, but Leo Rush has been great. All right, uh, IWGP Women's Championship, Kyrie versus Tam Nakano. We got Kyrie. Seems like Sasha Banks is showing up after that match. FTR against Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi for the tag team IWGP Tag Team Championships. Uh, I think.
think FTR are losing. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Ren Narita for the New Japan World Television Championship. Uh, should be... Man, you would think Narita would win it, but... I could see Zack winning, too. I don't really have a hot take on any of these. Carl Anderson against Tama Tonga. I couldn't care less about that, but Tama Tonga is winning. Kaiji Mudo, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Shota Umino against Naito, Sonata, and Bushi. I think Umino is taking, Umino is pinning Bushi in that. Four-way for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Ishimori against El Desperado. Hiromu Takahashi and Master Wato. Again, this... Man, some of these divisions are lackluster. Those are four, well, three great wrestlers in Master, Master Wato. But <laughs> maybe Master Wato should win. Hiromu should be a heavyweight. El Desperado isn't even under contract. But I would... I mean, he's... I guess I would like to see him win the most. All right, then we have Will Ospreay against Kenny Omega. Let me tell you what. This is going to be a hot match. This could be the match of the year four days into the year. If everyone stays healthy, no one gets injured. I think Ospreay is winning it. Unless they want Omega to win, and then they run the match back in the U.S., which I could see. And then Jay White against Okada, which is also kind of a cold-feeling match. I think Okada wins that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm excited for the card, even though it didn't sound like I'm that excited. I'm sorry. My glasses just scraped off my off the microphone. <laughs> um, Let's go to the open forum. Let's go to the open forum. I'll see if there's anything good there. <clears throat> um, bum, bum, bum. Would I ever consider adding a wicker phase duet with uh, pedal on the next album. Um, maybe there's other people I want to work with too. I have a couple early songs with Kylie. If it's not too personal a question, how did you and Doves meet? We, uh, Doves emailed me some beats. That was it, and they were great. And I love them. Do you think it would be possible to restock the Thelema shirts from 2016 in the classics drop? I don't even know what shirt that is. Sorry. How can I comfort my family in my pursuit of proficient... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? How can I comfort my family in my pursuit of professional musician whenever they only care for money? Um... I don't know. I mm, I think you should only think of music as a career when you are already making money from it and you can make more money than you're already making if you give up everything to become a musician. Does that make sense? Yes. Or start a family band. What does Kornikovax mean? Um, it's like Anna Kornikova, the tennis player, but with an X at the end. This person suggests the beat name, I saw you in a lucid dream for the beat I just made. Would you ever perform Night Bay or She Doesn't Believe in Thelema? Uh, yeah, I would. Hobbies lately? Um... Mm. <laughs> quitting quitting jobs <laughs> quitting uh shedding myself of responsibilities and firing people 
My wife gave me the Full Moon Mystery Garden tote bag for Christmas, and she somehow bought it at the San Francisco show without me knowing. Just wanted to shout her out because I love her, and she's the best. I'm thrilled to hear it. <clears throat> Wicca X Mothica. I don't know who that is. Wicca X Femme. Um, maybe. What is Femme up to? Wicca X Danger Inc. I would. We need some. All right, this is a this is a request. This is not me. I know. I understand that Mothica is an artist. I just I haven't listened. Oh, she just collabed with Steve Aoki. Ooh, there's one way to get my attention. Oh, that's a joke, but I'll listen. All right, this person says we need some boundaries in chat. Some people spend every stream oversharing about serious topics, and it makes the energy really heavy and uncomfortable. I. That's the end of it. I am going to say that uh, I, I, okay. It seems like oversharing is a major issue <laughs> in this community. Now, somehow, somehow I am immune from this or impervious to this or it just bounces off of me like a rubber bullet or like I am Superman. Where I just either block it out or I I ignore it, like I or I don't see it. You know what I mean? If you have all I can say is if you have a problem, go to the mods. That's it. That's all I can say. <clears throat> How did you ring in twenty twenty three? Um, me and Kitty went away. Weekend trip. Have I heard of ERDA? No. Is there any drum and bass on the new album? Uh. There is a uh, uh, um, there's some, what's it called? There's some break beats in it. I don't really know if that's drum and bass. I wouldn't call that drum and bass, but there are a couple break beats. I would say, yeah. What was one of the first, if not the first phrase you began and continued to use in your songs? Uh, I don't know. I bet there's actually like, um, someone else might like actually have the answer to that. Regarding overshare, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't get that in the chat. I don't see it. Again, I'm reading the chat half of the time, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Bob, I thought that I thought about yeah as as one. <clears throat> Shannon says that she doesn't see chronic oversharing. A lot of people are disagreeing with this. I don't know. Maybe don't just I don't know. You know, one way to guide the chat into a direction that you want is to just guide the chat into the direction that you want. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I think they meant in the, in the chat. Can I elaborate on the Kornikovacs thing? I mean, I took the name Anna Kornikova and then I added an X to it because then Kornikovacs sounded like a cool name. When really it's just a tennis player's name with an X at the end, but it, it sounds like a cool name. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can I, uh, do you subscribe to any sub stacks? Uh, Last week, I subscribed to Grant Morrison's, and last night, I subscribed to Phil Elvram's, and they were the only one. What's your favorite way to prepare pasta at home? Um, it's like a lot of lemon and um, Parmesan cheese and pepper, I think. 
Oh. Here we go. I need some advice with something. Here we go. I'm starting to have something with a girl. I'm starting to have something with a girl, but I feel very insecure about the fact that she's not a virgin, and I am, despite being older than her. <laughs> I'm really in love with her, but I can't get that weird feeling off my chest. Well, I think you're going to have to. Hmm. She's also been pretty vocal about the things she did with her ex. Hmm. What, what is, I would like to know what the hang up is. Don't worry about oversharing. What I, I thought I cleared that up. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Okay, if you want to respond to the open forum again, we don't know who you are. It's anonymous. But if you want to say like general details, I have a couple questions. Is this your first girlfriend? How old are you? And yes, does she know that you are a virgin? Hey, Adam, hope you had an amazing new year. I always wanted to like wrestling, but was never able to get it. I'm curious, what do you enjoy about wrestling personally uh, and more specifically? And what would you recommend as a starting point to learn about it and watch it? Hey, thank you. Uh, all my love to you and yours and hope that you have a completely perfect year. I said thank you to this part that I read last. All right, here's what I would say. We do need another love stream. Maybe we'll do that next week. Or Sunday. How about Sunday? All right. Um, regarding wrestling, here's what I, I like about it. When wrestling is done right, it is just uh, the, the, the most exciting form of, of storytelling to me. When it is done right. And by that, I mean this. When a company, or when a, a, the person who writes for a company makes a story that is so compelling that I, I genuinely cannot um, guess how it's going to end, or maybe I can guess how it's going to end, but there's that shred of doubt um, where I'm, I'm not 100% certain. Um, so then you're, you're going into a big match with this big conflict, and, and you don't know how it's going to go. And and it's going to be settled right there. It is, um, you know, it's going to be settled in the ring, right? In an exciting way. I, I like that about it. I like the, um, the physical aspect of it in the sense that it, like, requires athleticism for the most part. You know, some guys aren't that athletic and are able to pull it off, but that's rare. In a mo my case, the wrestlers I like the most are incredibly athletic. Will Ospreay, Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi. Um, yeah, those are some, of my, some of the guys I like. Where would you start? Well, it depends what you like because a lot of people like wrestling for different reasons. Some of them like the, the more extreme side of it and they just like the spectacle of seeing people go through tables and whatever. What I like about wrestling, again, I like that um, strong physical uh, style. Uh, so I watch a lot of Japanese wrestling. And uh, and I like, you know, I like a lot of melodrama, believe it or not. So, I mean, I would recommend, like, watching any Kenny Omega matches against uh, Kota Ibushi or... Kazuchika Okada. Um, and it's really tough if someone else has a better answer for like how to get into wrestling. But I would need to know like what, you know, it's, it's like 
it's almost like saying, what do you like about music? And it's like, well, I don't like all music, but the music that I do love, I'm obsessed with, right? I can tell you why I'm obsessed with, with the, the music that I love. But if someone was like, how do you get into music? It's like, well, you'd have to listen to like so much stuff and then figure out what you like and then, you know, kind of narrow it down and keep digging until you find what you love. That's how I feel about wrestling. But, you know, if I just had to offhand, I would say watch. I would go on YouTube. Let's see what's available. I would go on YouTube and I would watch uh, Kota Ibushi versus Kenny Omega from, from DDT Pro Wrestling in in Japan. Okay, from, from 2012. Um, there. Yeah, I am this Wicca phase. I am the Wicca phase. Yeah. This person says typing in chat is cringe. I disagree. Have I seen the documentary about Phil Elvram that came out? No, I did not. What is that called? Oh, there's no end. Wow, I knew nothing about this. No. No, I haven't seen this. It's only 20 minutes. I will watch it. Cool. Hmm. Okay. What are your thoughts slash hot takes on the White Lotus season? Well, I, can't, I probably can't get into this. Some people still haven't seen it. Do I watch micro wrestling? No. <laughs> I do not. If I re am I reading any interesting books lately? Um, not really. <laughs> okay, here we go. Part two. She would be my second girlfriend. I'm 22 and she's 20. And she doesn't know that I'm a virgin because I lied about it. Okay, you cannot lie. First off, you can't lie. What did you say? Yeah, I've had sex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, you got to tell her the truth. And then you got to tell her, like, why you lied. And be like, uh, listen, I lied because I'm, like, nervous about this. All right? So, like, forgive me and guide me through whatever's next. I'll, I'll do a love stream at a different time. Okay, now here's another one, but is this the same person? I feel extremely insecure about being a virgin at 19 and not having a real romantic connection with a girl in about three years. I've only had one girlfriend before that. Da, da, da. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to move on from this for now. Yeah, right? The other person said they were 22. You're right. Okay. This person says, It was so kind of you to reassure fans, read the oversharing open forum question, especially as someone who discloses nothing IRL and not only owes everything to the Anon venue and support here, uh, and then parentheses, a completely out of character slash idiosyncratic slash uncomfortably vulnerable risk for me, end parentheses but finds a bit of meaning in rallying uh, in fellow with fellow fans in their struggles to boot. See, that's what I would think, too. I would think that, you know, I would think that it would, it would feel good to, I don't know, yeah. See, whoever said that there's oversharing in the chat, I'm not saying that they're wrong. Maybe they feel like that, but I, I think that you it just needs to be understood that some people come here for like friendship and to, to talk and whatever, you know? So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I think you're wrong. 
What is your all-time and or current favorite rappers? Also, on a side note, are you aware of West Side Gun and or anyone from Griselda or Fashion Rebels? And if so, what are your thoughts on them? Okay. Favorite all-time or current rappers? Um, Mace. Kevin Gates. Young Thug. Um, Lil Uzi. Um, Gucci. There's some of my favorites. Regarding West Side Gun and Griselda, now I'm like uh, kind of ignorant to this. So I asked my friend Aaron recently. I was like, where do I start with the Griselda people? And um, so he told me to listen to um i didn't listen to any west side gun i did listen to um benny the butcher is he, he's part of that group and i specifically listened to um pirates picasso and one other album and I love them, but I haven't gotten back when I go to the gym, when I go back to the gym, I'll be listening to them. So if you have any West side gun recommendations, I'd, I'd be happy to listen. Um, you guys want to preview Oh, Conway, the machine's newest album is good. Okay. Plus, I haven't seen, uh, I have not seen that interview with Kevin Gates. All right, let's look at this. Um, let me pull this up real quick. Now, again, we're in the very early stages of, of this. Very early, okay? But I want to show you some of what I have been working on here. Um... <clears throat> so, oh, is it academics? Yeah, probably not listening to him. All right, so here we are. It's just a default banner here. Don't worry about that. I was just trying some stuff out. Um, this is what a product page would look like. So this is like you know very simple header. Um, hey, thanks for the best. Very simple. I just uploaded like a random product too to see what it'll look like and to see what the text would look like. And I'm still testing fonts and stuff like this. Um, but I don't want it to be like too crazy looking of a site. I'd rather it be clean and simple. And um, I'd rather not turn people off with the layout of the site. You know, I'd rather just... Um, make it as user friendly as possible. Um, have these nice little buttons for size selection here. There will be like specific information about each product. So stuff like, uh, like, you know, materials or shipping, you know, shipping stuff, wash stuff like that, etc. Okay. There will be like a recommended thing down here. So if you are looking at one thing, you can go down here and it'll tell you other stuff you might like based on what's in here. Again, there's only one, um, one product in there now or two products that are just randomly listed. Here's a, uh, there will be like a banner here with ads, not ads, but like, um, updates and stuff like that. So you can see that you'll be able to add stuff. Most of the site will be available from the homepage. Um, and you'll be able to just add stuff right from the homepage. So for example, if there's like a list or a, a drop, I don't know why I said list. If there's a drop and you're like, man, I want to get this stuff really quick before it sells out here, medium, it's added to your cart here, large add to cart, you know, whatever. Cart will pop up on the side. There you go. Very easy. You'll be able to sign up for like updates and stuff like that. Um, 
and like special deals and stuff like that here. We'll also have a text service where you can get like uh, exclusive text exclusive updates. And then here is where you, well, you can search up here if you want, or you'll be able to shop here. Now, again, I only have two categories here, so I only put two items in, but I'll have like, you know, everything broken out here. There will be a nice menu so you can find specific things. And right now that's it pretty much, but it'll be easy. Okay. We'll see. All this is going to change in the next month or so, but um, we're looking at like a launch the first week of February. If all goes well. You want to listen to a beat that someone sent me? I do. This is a selfish thing. See if you can listen. Uh, guess who it's from. If if someone guesses, I'll I'll tell you who it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Okay. Here's another one. Sorry, they're coming in so loud, I apologize. Yeah, Robert, you got it. How about this? I'm texting this producer back immediately. Okay, how about a six song EP using those first two and then whatever else you think will fit around that. Should we listen to one more? Here's one more.
I love beats like this. said this sounds perfect i love it i'm gonna say me too i have been wanting to do more over aggressive beats like that cool this will come out uh probably <laughs> summer of 2024 but exciting nonetheless um Hey, let's Oh, okay, hold on. Quickly, this person wants to um the 22-year-old wants to know if they should come clean with their girlfriend. Yes, even if she will laugh. Yes. Yes, 100%. Yes. Easy. One of the easiest decisions I've I've ever had to make. <laughs> yes. Would I ever do a Gucci Mane Springs Eternal album if Gucci asked you to? Yes. <laughs> well, yes, I would. Um, yeah. All right, hey, Thursday. Um, we'll talk about a song from Full Moon Mystery Garden, okay? I'll see if I can get um, someone from the album to come on. We'll figure that out tomorrow. I will figure that out tomorrow. That's not on you to have to figure out. <laughs> um, let's pick a winner. Yeah, Sunday Sunday we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. If I can get A485, I will. Last time they weren't available, but uh, I'll try. Okay, let's pick a winner. Who's the winner? Razorblade Wrist is the winner. Congratulations, Razorblade winner. Uh, Razorblade wrist. Sorry. <laughs> Man, that beat was good. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Join the Discord. I had a, a a fun time in the stream. Taylor, do you want do you want the stems from that beat? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Then I'm out of here. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you for bearing with me while I worked on that, uh, worked on that song. And uh, I'll see you Thursday. Okay? Goodbye.